Jean-Pierre Laplante, and for those millions of you who do not have a clue who I am, let's just say that I'm a guitar builder who's been building custom guitars for almost 17 years now. And I'm here to talk to you about electric archtop guitars, and more specifically, about a book that I recently wrote on building your own custom electric archtop. Building an archtop guitar can be a pretty intimidating project, but it becomes much less so if you have access to some kind of step-by-step, hands-on approach. And this is what this book is all about, guiding you one step at a time throughout the process, from the very early planning stage to the very final setup. And to make your life easier, the text in the book is supported by over 300 high-resolution color photographs taken as the three guitars featured in the book are being built. Now, one of the trickiest part in building an archtop guitar is carving and grading the top and back plates. I personally find it quite uh, pleasant and quite relaxing, in fact, but I must admit that uh, if it's your first archtop, it can be, let's say, uh, technically challenging. An interesting alternative, as I suggest in the book, is to use pressed laminated plates. Uh, I've got two examples of these plates. Um, this is um, an example of what I mean by a pressed laminated plate. On this one, the outer layer is made out of spruce, and it's a three-ply plate and it's pressed uh, under pressure to reproduce the dome that one typically finds uh, in archtop guitar. It may not be obvious in the picture, but this plate has the nice dome that uh, we would expect on an archtop guitar. Now this, this one is another plate. Uh, this one is a five-ply uh, maple plate and um, flame maple, really nice, really nice flame. I don't know if, if it can be seen easily on the, uh, on the camera. Uh, but anyway, this one is a, is a five ply plate and would normally be used uh, for the back uh, of the guitar. Now, these plates are available commercially and uh, from various suppliers. Uh, the ones that I've just shown you um, uh, I get from uh, um, Dan Yeager at the NCME Archstop. Uh, and I must admit that their quality is second to none, but there are other suppliers as well. Using such plates will save you a lot of time, and what, contrary to what um, some people would believe, uh, do not yield in any way to inferior instruments. As a matter of fact, most Archstop players prefer to use laminated instruments for stage work as they're much more stable to seasonal changes and much less sensitive to feedback than carved instruments. 